Hey guys, what I thought could be a good idea is if I dig beneath the surface a little bit, okay, relative to some of my frames, so like individual frames, I often get asked questions on Instagram and also uh, on the clubhouse room, the street photography clubhouse room that I moderate, and like, how do you take that photograph? Like, what is your approach? Um, like, how do you kind of, how do you get in that close? Quite So quite often uh, um, I'm shooting up close with wide lenses and, and, a, and a myriad of other questions. And I thought what I could do is perhaps um, bring it onto this channel and talk about images individually, scratch beneath the surface a little bit and hopefully it'd be a benefit uh, to you guys. This image here, uh, I took about five or six images of this guy. The guy was homeless. So it's kind of a little bit sensitive in terms of approaching that kind of a scene scenario. Um, but I, I, I kind of do it I do it quite often. I don't take photographs of people because they're homeless. I take people who, 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 who I'm looking for characters. And quite often, homeless people have a whole load of character, right? So that's that, that's my that's my feeling around that kind of a thing. With this photograph, I have to nurture the scene a little bit. This is this guy looks quite aggressive in this frame, right? And there was kind of you know he had an edge to him for sure. This guy, but I only show you what I want you to see, right? In terms of my portfolio and what I'm sharing with you guys. So quite often it's not always as dramatic as it, as it might seem. I want my images to resonate with people where it's almost like, wow, how the, did he get the camera there? And um, and I think perhaps this kind of a photograph for sure, I'm shooting with a 24 mil tilt shift lenses, so I'm really close, perhaps it does that. But it's not always how it looks. So a whole, a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors going on. So for example, like I said, yes, this kid, the guy did have an edge to him and I have to in terms of my approach yes I have to it's not a one-size-fits-all I have to be alert and vigilant to the moment and like how I approach yesterday's uh, street photography is not our approach or even 30 minutes ago is not how I'm approaching this character in this next street here so with this guy he was homeless like I said but I just kind of what attracted me into to, to, to his space he was over in Soho London near, not far from Leicester Square was obviously that contrast of he's homeless and he's brushing his teeth. I'm not saying homeless people don't brush their teeth or... But do you get where I'm coming from? It's just like in terms of visually, it's going to look pretty good. Out on the streets, but he's also, he's, he's kind of quite fit, right? So he's also, he actually dropped to the floor and did about 25 press-ups without, literally, <laughs> without blinking uh, while I was there. And um, just, just like an awesome character. And I wanted to, I wanted to get some clicks. So for me, it was like I was in there having a, just kind of feeling it out, having a little bit of a chat. What are you up to? Like, uh, what did you get up to last night? That kind of thing. And then he's asking me questions back. Um, usually the obvious ones are you, uh, are you from the newspapers or are you a paparazzi? All of that kind of a thing. And uh, no, I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm just like interested in characters. I'm a street photographer and kind of having a little bit of a chat. And what do I want to do? I kind of want to. Like if I feel this is close enough, I kind of want to just get that little bit closer. And that's always my intention uh, when I'm shooting uh, kind of street, street stroke street portraits. But there's this thing with street photographers, I think, especially starting out, that they think is almost like if they, that street photography has to be anonymous. You have to be anon anonymous. So that if I, if, if I have to get the shot before anybody notices I'm there. Well, yeah, you can kind of get lucky with those shots. And a lot of my shots, like if I'm shooting a marketplace and I'm on the balls of my feet and I'm walk, moving fast, creating an energy through through that marketplace, then yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm kind of, I'm not stopping, right? But with uh, subjects that are a little bit more sensitive, I want to nurture that scene. Like it could, I have two or three streets in London where I, I, I revisit. And a little tip, I'll tell you as well. If you're in a street, it might be when you walk through that street with the camera, each time you visit it, people are a little bit on edge. But if you hang in there, maybe 30 minutes, an hour, even a couple of hours, you know, is they, they can't spend their whole day looking at you. So it's all, and it's almost like if you acknowledge somebody or something consciously, it's not too long before unconsciously, they just become part of the background. You forget they're there. Then you can still get those anonymous shots. Turn to the technical side of this photograph. I wanted to, the, I, I got a few of these images, I left them in color, but I, I kind of wanted this in black and white. I think it was a little bit more impactful. He's slightly off to the to the right of the frame. I think if he was a, a bit more in the center of the frame, so so just over here a little bit. 
I think it probably would be a little bit more powerful if he was in the center of the frame. I kind of tend to anchor my images, by the way, in the, my subject in the center of the frame. I mean, I shoot wide quite often, so that there's the risk of having that distortion, especially when I'm shooting portraits on the, at the edge of the frame. But I also like, I just want that, I think there's a symmetry throughout my work as a byproduct of kind of everything center framed in that center third. I'm not talking about in the middle of the picture, by the way. I'm talking about that center third. Also, with street photography, if I'm taking photographs of people as like so I'm walking down the street and they're kind of in the next lane and they're walking towards me and I take it at an angle it's not as powerful right as you walking towards me I mean taking a photograph kind of when you, you're at where the subject where you're the subject's anchored dead center because again it's like how the f did he get the camera there um, if there's any photographs you see on my Instagram or my portfolio that you want me to kind of attack in this way and talk about my approach, um, drop it in the comments below and I'll promise I'll, uh, I'll get to it. I don't know if this was even useful, but uh, so please guys, comment below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really is a big support for me, guys. It really inspires me to get out and do more YouTube stuff and, uh, and like this video. Oh, by the way, I've got a street photography clubhouse room. I'll put a link below in the show notes. Show notes? Oh, it's only showbiz, you know. But uh, yeah, great stuff. Just a bit of a waffle, was that? Was it all right? I think, I don't know. Let me know, guys. I hope it was beneficial. Guys, see you on the next video.